sprint sets from functional patterns. Today I'm going to show you how to squat on the BOSU ball. My objective for this exercise is to give us a better understanding on center of gravity, coordinating the core systems for, uh, to set a foundation for functionality. This is also relevant when it comes to fixing asymmetries. Let me explain. On an unstable surface, if we are weight dominant on one side, the BOSU will tip that way. Now, if we have a weak core, our body will tend to compensate to find that center of gravity. Now, this may be hard to notice if we are on a flat surface, but if our body favors one side, this may recruit unwanted movement patterns while walking, running, uh, squatting, lifting, or any dynamic activity, and over time may cause injury, uh, or uh, cause some bones to reposition, furthering structural imbalance. If you haven't addressed your posture, this may not be an ideal move for you to start with, okay? To step on the BOSU, we can do this in two ways. You can either tip the BOSU on one side, place the other foot where we want it to be, or I personally prefer this method, place one foot right in the middle, and we're going to shift our weight on this side, and we're going to shimmy the feet to center them hip width apart. And we want most of our weight on our heels here, so slightly adjust the feet towards the front, okay? To get off the BOSU, to, uh, shift the weight on one side, then carefully step off. If you are kind of weary on doing something unsafe for you, this uh, you may want to hold on or get close to something stable. Okay? Once we're on the BOSU, once again, keep most of our weight on our heels. The reason for that is if we start shifting our weight towards our toes, this may overload the quads and the calves coming down to that squat, not good for the joints down below. Okay? Uh, also, the feet should uh, we'll make sure that they're not pointed out like a duck as a common mistake, as this may confuse the glutes to secondary or tertiary function. You want them to point straight forward, stacking the joints to prevent the knees from bowing in or bowing out, okay? Then from here, come to a ready position. What that means is the core systems, the thoracic spine, lower abdominals, glutes, and upper adductors are working together to keep us balanced and stable. Then once we're there, flex from the hips followed by knee flexion. Also notice that my arms are in close proximity to my body. Not out here, not out here guys, okay? We don't function like this. If we start doing this right off the bat when we're coming down for that squat, we're operating poorly on, with our center of gravity relying on that weight up front, okay? Come down to a 90 degree angle on that knee flexion, then concentrically extend the hips and the knee joints simultaneously contracting the glutes and the lower abdominals. Let me show you guys in the lateral view here. Okay. Come down to a 90 degree angle on that V flexion. And if I'm executing this correctly, my shin bones should be in close parallel to my torso, okay? Loading the posterior chain here, guys. Also, look for that uh, anterior, too much anterior pelvic tilt or the butt sticking out. This may uh, lead to or may cause the upper torso to lean too forward or hyperextension of that lower back, and we know the influence of this, okay? So if you find yourself doing this, just suck your hips under slightly, keep your navel in, okay? Come down to a 90 degree angle, okay? Then come up to a ready position. Also guys, we're not training, uh, we're training the glutes here for strength, so we're not going to apply the ass to grass rule coming down to a uh, super hype or hyperflexion of the knee joint. If you're training for mobility, regress on the ground to do that, okay? The reason for not coming down all the way past 90 degrees is the leverage of the knee ligaments are, are not gonna be as strong past 90 degrees. Okay, all right.
I hope you guys find that tutorial useful. If you do, please like or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. This is Princess from Functional Patterns. Thanks for watching.